I love numbers. I love to see them dance. But Arabic numbers are a little bit different from those we have in English. They use a different script. Let's learn to count and write the numbers 1 to 10. Hi, I'm Kashmir. And English dropped Roman numerals for Arabic numerals some centuries ago. So you'd think it would be quite simple. Maybe the words are different, but the symbols are the same. Unfortunately not. Because English language uses a Latin script, also known as Western Arabic script, whereas most of the Middle East uses Eastern Arabic script. So there's a bit of a difference in between the numbers. What holds them together is not the shape of the letters, but the system. So you actually have um, each column is a power of 10, and we also have a zero. Quite important things that were actually added to a way of doing mathematics. You can't do modern mathematics without the zero or the concept of powers of 10. So why would you want to learn to say or recognize uh, Arabic numbers in the Eastern script? Well, it can be fun. So for instance, when I do a stretch class, um, we often hold, hold the stretch for say 10, count of 10, and people go around the class and do it in different languages. And it can be quite interesting how many different languages, at least as far as counting to 10 goes, that you can find in a small class. The other one is what I mentioned in my earlier video on uh, Arabic script, and that is the, the idea of um, if you actually ever go to the Middle East, one of the things that hit me is the signs. You know, you, you, you look and nothing looks familiar. Okay, the people are different, the buildings are different, the smells are different, but all the writing is different as well. And being able to recognise just numbers, just being able to read a, um, the, the, a number plate on a car can actually make you feel a little bit more centred. And if you go shopping, you'll also know what the prices are. In most places they'll actually show you the price on a calculator and hold it up for you, but it's, it's a good feeling to know ahead of time that you knew exactly what the price of that was before you bought it. So, let's get started. Wahid, Ithnain, Thalatha, Aba, Hamsa, Sitta, Sabah, Thamania, Tissa, Ashra. Wahid, Ithnain, Thalatha, Apa, Hamsa, Sitta, Saba, Thamania, Tissa, Ashra. You may have come across a couple of these before. Um, Hamsa is, is five and is the hand and is the eye and it's because of the shape. And we also have um, Ashra, if some of you may have come across the Ashra melody, the ten melody. And some of you might say, that's not how my Egyptian teacher sees those numbers. Well, okay, my accent is a bit mmm. -hmm. But the problem is that some of the numbers actually use the letter there. And it's one of those letters that get pr gets pronounced differently in different places. So in standard modern Arabic, like you would see in uh, uh, Lebanon, for example, it's pronounced th. But other places it can be pronounced as a t or even a s. You've heard of this before. Um uh, um That's the standard pronunciation. But you also hear it pronounced as um tum and um um sum And it's the same letter, but pronounced differently in different parts of the Middle East. So the three that we're going to uh, change, depending on whether you're going to go uh, standard or Egyptian, are two, three, and eight. So it can be either, either ithnain or ittain. Three can be thalatha or talata. Eight can be thamania or tamania. You can pick one or the other. You shouldn't mix them. So you should either decide on the t sound or the th sound. Um, t actually works with Egyptian best, um, but 
the sounds more standard. Okay, go off, have fun!